This is my secret weapon. Sheep with maggots, blow fly laying eggs as we speak. Welcome to Sheep School. Today we are weaning. Big day in the calendar. It's good to get the yews and the lambs separated. So we'll move the lambs off to one area and the yews off to another. Now normally I used to put the yews into the shed, cut back their feed a bit, we'll say, give them hay, not very much of it. Chatting to some of the bigger sheep farmers, I don't really do that. Now I remember when I started at sheep, actually physically milking out sheep, but as the numbers got up, crazy stuff when you think about it. So I try not to worry too much about it. Once, this time of year, the yews are naturally starting to dry off anyway. So you might notice some of the lambs here are a little bit dirty in the back end. So two of the biggest problems I face this time of year, number one is maggots, which I think we have a handle on, on the lambs anyway, with the click. But the other one is worms and lack of thrive and scouring and dirty back ends and all the rest. So we have a, a weapon available to us, so just gonna make use of it now. 10 samples to take for the SIS scheme. Uh, the sheep improvement scheme. Not the most glamorous job in the world. Has to be done. Technically, you'd be better doing this on concrete, but that's just not an option for me at the present time. So, I'm just trying to get as little contamination into it as possible. So, now here's all the hard working ladies behind me. So, we get them moved here. Shouldn't be much trouble getting them out. Hi, Ada. It has just arrived here. She's back from a summer camp. Great to be young. Did you have fun today? Yeah. Come on. Come on. The work is done for this year. So I'm just letting them out onto a field of grass here. Probably a bit too much grass on it for sheep you're trying to dry up, but I don't actually have a spot that's bare to let them onto, so... Uh, it's the first year, and normally I usually run them into the shed, not this year. Last year they lost a lot of condition in the shed on hay, so plan is to try and build them up straight from the point of weaning. Now that's all the yews separated and back out to the field. You'll see them out here. So the lambs in here, so the next job is going to separate them out. Normally split them this time of year, I find the ram lambs spend more time chasing after yo lambs than actually eating grass. Not that the, any of the yo lambs are actually in heat or cycling, but it's just natural behavior where they're chasing after yo lamb. We split them and seem to get a better performance on the ram lambs. This is probably the noisiest day's work. Apart from maybe shearing, weaning lambs is always a noisy job. You've seen the samples we took there, they're quite scoury. Just going to go in with a dose here. So we have some uh, Animec left over here. So this is an Ivermectin drench. Gonna go in with a Miller drench as well. Thank you, Enya. You're a great girl. Right, that's the Ivermectin drench. So the next job is the minerals. So there's 10 mil of this as well. It's quite thick, this stuff. The reason I'm going in with the dose is they're very scoury. You see now when I was gathering the fecal egg samples, quite scoury. I'm not sure if it's the grass running through them or actual worms. So we know when the results come back, but look, we're going in with a routine dose anyway, because I'm pretty sure it's worms. But the reason for the mineral drench is, as we mentioned when we were running through the cotter crate, was scabby ears. Quite a few of them, quite a few of them now. So here's the lamb here, quite bad with scabby ears. Quite bad there. Not so bad there. Another one here. I think the general consensus from the comments on that video and the cotter crate was cobalt. Plenty of cobalt in that OV Trift mineral drench. So we'll see if that improves things. So my old lambs moved up here. You'll see they're on reasonably, well, look, they're on pretty good grass. All the heads are down, they're all eaten. They're hungry, they've been in the shed for a few hours now, so they're not too worried about Mammy at the minute. This is my secret weapon. Quite simple, really. We'll have a look at it here. Works a treat for me, get it set up.
by stereo from the workshop. And an extension lead. Now it'll be much simpler if you have a battery powered stereo. I don't. Just use what I have. I'm going to get power from the house. Now I know this isn't going to work for everyone. Simply because they haven't got power close by. But I did find when I had the sheep in the shed. Like last year and previous years. When I had the O's in the shed. If I turned on the radio nice and loud. They couldn't hear the lambs. There wasn't a sound out of them. So it worked a treat in the shed also. We'll get this set up here. You might, I'll show you the O's in a minute, they're actually out here. They'll soon be over looking for lambs. So we get our power connected up, get this thing switched on, keep everything at peace. It's nice and quiet at the minute. So all the barrel is for is a bit of a cover, stop the rain from wetting my power connections and the radio. So switch it on, and the noise just works the treat. Sheep can't hear the lambs, lambs can't hear the sheep. Lovely job. So, done here now, I'll switch this on in a second. Next job is, gonna go and move these ram lambs over to the other place beside mothers. Get that done next. Hi pops. We're just over at this other bit of ground. We've a batch of sheep and lambs in here. So these are for weaning as well. I see a wee problem here. Sheep with maggots. There's an actual blowfly laying eggs as we speak. So we'll have to treat her when we get her into the race as well. So I forgot me diverter. So we've a funny kind of a setup here, but it should do the job. So we'll run them here. Robbie with me here. Robbie's gonna give me a hand to run them through the race here uh, and I'm going to do the diverting so we'll rattle away here make a start with the O lambs separate here quite a nice batch of O lambs very happy with these they're nice and tidy more O lambs than I had hoped for which is always great that's what I want to see grow into nice hoggets someday that's the money in my sheep farm and enterprise anyway the O lambs are on the upper side so we have our yos and ram lambs back in collecting pen here. We're just gonna run them through again. We let the yos on out and keep the ram lambs in this pen here. So I do the burton, Robbie can keep them up to me. So this is our ram lambs here, and for some reason, there's an awful lot more yo lambs than there is ram lambs, which I am more than happy to see, because the yo lambs are worth a lot more to me in my operation. Now I did send 16 of these away, if you've seen the selling sheep to pay the bills, that video. So we've no quad today, kind of just the way it worked out. We have pops here, but it's an extremely warm day. Poor Pop's got to be tired. She's done a good bit of work earlier this morning, so that's why I'm a bit sweaty. I had to take up the slack. But Robbie has suggested using the combo to move these yos across, so I'm not going to stop him. Who needs an expensive quad when you can have a 0-2 combo on the go? Ram lambs are dosed. I give them a dose of that ivermectin drench, Animec, and they've got a mineral drench as well. Some scabby ears, but not near as many as there was at the home place. But I've always found my sheep have done a little bit better over here on this bit of ground. And it's only two kilometers away, a little bit less as the crow flies. But I have some lighter lambs here, 35 to 40 kilos. Kind of regretting I didn't sell them all that time in Carneros, but I just had room for what I had that day. 
prices have dropped significantly since that probably 25 30 quid a head for the equivalent lambs but look what do you do maybe sell them a little bit earlier next year not sure not sure what to do every year is different the trade is up and down so look it is what it is we've good enough grass we're not too bad for grass so kind of hoping these lambs are well dosed mineral drenched good grass hopefully they'll keep going we'll get them away before i start to run low on grass so that's it we're going to move these yo lambs now time to get these lambs loaded going to get these back to the home place in along with the other lambs trailer set up here behind me Gonna actually bring the old lambs home. I have to get them ready for the shearers. Usually clip them this time of year, so I'll have them all back at the home place. We'll get them into the shed. I, I, I'm inclined to batch all the old lambs up together this time of year. And it's just handy for keeping an eye on them. They have to be weighed again and clipped. I usually do that around end of August, early September, and that's them right for the winter. Hard work, loading lambs. Just gonna jump to this for a second. So I have a lamb here we picked out when we were separating the yo lambs and the ram lambs. So you'll see him behind me here. He doesn't actually look too bad. He was a little bit slower than the other group when we were bringing them into the pen. So just didn't think he was right. So we'll just have a look at him here. I think he's quite lively. He's mobile, he's not too bad. A little bit thin of himself also. And I just have a suspicion he's a bit sick. Oh, hi Ada. Ada's just here to join us as well. So, just going to check this lamb's temperature. I'll give you a look at that now. I have a strange suspicion the lamb has a high temperature. We'll not know till we check him with this. So straight away, we're at 39.8 and it's, it's still going up. So, over 40 is definitely sick in my mind. But some of the vets would actually say 39.3. And over that is a problem high temperature you've got a problem so this lamb's temperature is sitting at the minute at 40.2 there we go just beeped at 40.3 40.3 so he's give not you a look. supposed to go up his ear give you a look at that so i've just spoken to my vet he's recommended oxytetracycline uh, so angiomycin alamycin same thing so we'll give him three days of that few cc for three days so just giving that into the muscle now so if i'm injecting into the muscle uh, a 25 millimeter needle so that's quite a long needle an inch long needle and the place i go in the muscle is you feel the shoulder just come forward a little bit from the shoulder it's quite a bit of muscle in here on the neck so just in here there we go job done so here's the results from the dung samples quite low 100 eggs per gram i have a feeling i have wasted my money and my time dosing these lambs even though they were quite scoury would you have dosed them yourself let me know what you think in the comments It'd be great to hear from you so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give us a like hit the subscribe button thanks for watching and we'll see you next time i remember every cheap is a schooner even when you're in pajamas <laughs> bedtime over and out